Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a first video in a series on Bamboo Studio. Now, what I'm going to show you is how you can create holes to run cables in a model if uh, they are not already there and if you don't want to do that in your 3D modeling software, right? So we're in uh, uh, Maker's World and uh, Maker World, sorry. And here's a model created by Tituf, Tituf, right? And uh, he made this uh, light box area 51. Now, it doesn't really matter what the model is. Uh, I'm just gonna import it into Bamboo Studio just so that we have something to use as a tutorial piece, right? Let's uh, open up Bamboo, give that a second. And uh, let's see what we got. Um, I haven't seen this model just yet, so we'll see what we have to do. All right, so there you go. There is the um, the stack, the filament stack. We got the lid, and then we got the base here, which is perfect. Now you can see there is already a hole here, right? There's a hole to run the cable. But let's say there isn't, and you want to have another hole made in the bottom in a different location. How would you do that? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to select this guy and we're going to make sure it's separated from this guy. And it is, which is perfect. And let's say you either want a bigger hole here because you need to run a thicker plug through it or you want to have a hole somewhere else. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to right click while you have this selected and we're going to go to add a negative part. Now, the shape of the hole might be round, might be square, kind of depends on what you want. I'm going to go with a, um, let's see, if you do a cylinder, you'll have to tilt it and whatnot. If you do a sphere, you can make a hole as well, right? But you don't have to flip it as much, a bit easier, okay? So I created this sphere right here. We're going to move it, and we're going to move it to the position where we want to have it, right? And we'll just come up with some location that doesn't make sense but just for illustration purposes all right so i got that i can change the scale of it of course so we're going to select it again we're going to go and change the scale let's say i want it to be 10 and because the sphere everything will change in one go all right and uh, i of course want it to cut into the frame here so we're going to click on the move tool and we're going to push that down until we're certain that it's going through our model. And because this is a sphere, I am very, very sure. Now, you're probably thinking, okay, well, where's the hole at, right? Well, if we now go in and splice the plate, we'll give it a second. It's working on it. Plus completed, let's select this guy. And now you have a hole right there. So that's the one that was already there. That's the one we created with the sphere. That's all there's to it. You can of course do the same thing with a, uh, a cube or whatnot, and that will allow you to place it and to move it and to scale it. The only thing you do have to remember, right, is that you, when you select this, that you select uh, add a negative part, not a regular part, okay? Well, that's all there's to it. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you want to see more in the series, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.